one girl told me, hey, do you know that you are black, you are woman, and you are Muslim? I mean, it is all that's, you know, that's not actually favorable in the world today. <laughs> and, sure. and I was like, oh my God, you know, sh she was absolutely right. And what's taking place behind us is the Pan-African Space Station that has landed in Amsterdam. So it's basically a pop-up radio that has landed in different cities around the world. Why we invited them is for our 20th anniversary. So we really wanted to do something special for our anniversary. Papa Ozali Kotinda A téléphone Ozali Iko Solola there are discussions that are taking place for five days around different topics, architecture, music, uh, etc., but also performances, music uh, that is taking place throughout these five days. We basically collaborate with artists, uh, all kinds of different innovators in the arts in the cities that we land in to build bridges, create connections, bring different worlds and universes into um, a common space, a safe space where we can all learn from each other. You know, some stuff are happening in Africa now, but uh, not everyone here knows about what's happening in Africa. A lot of things are happening, you know. People are very creative, but we only get a glimpse, small glimpse of what's happening down there, here. Welcome, Votrang. It's uh, great to meet you again. So Votrang is a 2016 Prince Klaus laureate. And why he was awarded an award this year was um, for the way he makes architecture interact with the living of a community in a city. What Votrang believes, and he knows because he's an architect and an urbanist, is actually that Ho Chi Minh City uh, uh, has no greenery in the whole city. And so what he has done is that all of the work that he is doing and all of the buildings that he is creating is bringing back this greenery into the city. We uh, don't care much about material. For example, we use the bamboo just uh, simply when I go back from Japan. I think, you know, if people had more and more insight of events like this one, actually the mentalities would change. You know, it would take, of course, some time, but that's eventually one of the only ways so that, you know, we can actually learn more about each other. So I think this, uh, which actually is translated into developing relationships, but also opening the debate, having a dialogue, specifically that it's Africa, which was something that's very close to Prince Klaus, would have been something that he would have been keen and, and, and happy about.